said you ain't got nothing to lose What if your heart said What if your heart said Never play by the rules yeah. I'm Stefan from Dada Life and we're in the middle of our big Asia tour. We just finished the show with Global Gathering. It was amazing. But as you know, we have a rule, no barbecue before the show. But afterwards, barbecue is fine. So, but you know, I have no idea what this is. That's why I have James here. Hey, good to see you guys. He's gonna explain it all. I have no idea. I'm just gonna point and he's gonna go, yes, no, I don't know. Okay, we'll let me see. see. <laughs> you will see all the racy stuff. Yeah, so Korean food is, can be summed up in a one word spicy one. Dokboki is a rice cake with a spicy sauce. And, and the lemon is like, it's very different from Japanese one. It's a spicy lemon, spicy lemon, spicy dokboki. Um, yeah, soon there's like the incident of the pig stuff, you know. So okay, like, we, we can we can skip the inside yeah, can, of the pigs. <laughs> you know? Okay, you you just pick. I, I want to eat yeah, right. kimchi. I want to eat uh, some Korean barbecue. I want to have uh, some noodles. Oh yeah, right. Here's a Korean barbecue one. Okay, yeah, just order that and get me some caffeine. Okay, okay, cool. I'm down. As I said before, we just in the middle of this Asian tour. Uh, roughly one week ago, we just came off uh, our two-week college tour in U.S. That was so much fun, but we did barely sleep at all. We just travel, travel, travel. Uh, and this Asian run seems to go the same way. Uh, I think, how much have you slept, Jace? Like three hours per night? Two hours? Zero? Okay. It's... That's pretty much the tour life. It's like you you need to sleep whenever you can because it's like you never know when you're gonna sleep, you never know when you're gonna eat. It's not as luxurious as this when you have a team with you and you sit down and eat. It's more or less like you eat protein bars. You try to find like just a moment to eat. But also it's like with work, everything like the day to day stuff also needs to be done when you're on tour. Uh, which means that when you're in a car or a taxi or the car service and you have like, I don't know, 30 minutes to the venue or to the hotel, you just grab your laptop and you work. And uh, those moments are so important because, like we did this night on the show with Global Gathering. It was, uh, I don't know, like one or two hour car ride from the, whole, uh, from the airport straight to the venue. And we had to prepare for this show. So we just sat with like three laptops preparing for this one because we did a special uh, Born to Rage, like South Korea, you were born to rage thing. And we need to get, add video to it and you know, all that stuff. And that's the time you had like from the airport to the venue and just you sit, you work, make it happen. But the, the reward of doing that extra effort is amazing because ending with Born to Rage with a special South Korea version, blow the roof off. It was I tried to buy it at home in Sweden, it's not the same. You need to get it here, it's so good. So what was this? Uh, it's a, we call it dakboki, it's a rice cake. Dakboki? Yeah, dakboki, like, dak means a rice, boki is like kind of, you know, storing like that. So It's like a rice cake Yeah, yeah rice cake, yeah, rice cake mixed up with, you know, another stuff like, you can see kind of two types of things. 
This is a fish cake. Okay. Have you ever heard about it like that name, fish cake? No. That sounds exotic, right? I mean, it's like some part of the fish is grinded and it's like putting in here together. And then look at that radish thing. It's a it's kind of spicy, you know, chili sauce. So like, we have a lot of Korean food is very involved in engaged into that chili spice sauce. So just enjoy. I'm gonna try it. It's really good. Mm. It doesn't taste like rice cake. <laughs> no, it's like if you make a cake out of rice, but it's so strong. <laughs> and the question is, why aren't we on tour the whole time? And the thing is, we love being in the studio. So we just like, we, we try to how say, limit the touring so we can be in the studio, have fun and make music. Because for us, it's all about having fun and just make music. Because um, I see a lot of DJs, they just tour all the time and they release tracks and stuff, but I don't know how, how they can do it to work on the road and just finish tracks on the road. Um, we, we, we do work on the road, but we never like fully start and finish it on the road. Either you start like in the studio and then finish it on the road, or you start a track on the road and then finish it in the studio. I don't know if that makes sense, but... When you're in the studio, you want to go on tour and try all the new stuff. And when you're on tour, you want to take the inspiration you get to get back to the studio and just make new tracks. So for us, that's the balance we need to have to go back and forth. So that, that's why we don't tour like all the time. Show your face, you were born to raise your